Morning, watch humans and cactonauts. This is my cactus greenhouse, and this is my cactus greenhouse on tobacco smoke. I am fumigating the entire greenhouse because I found some mealy bugs. So what I have here is it's like a regular charcoal starter kind of thing. Anything you can do with some hot coals is fine. But you want air coming in the bottom. This is how I smoke meat too and you want something to choke off the flames. Like we're gonna see flames here in a second. So it's starting to flame up a little bit. We don't want that. To get the maximum smoke, you want a combination of, you know, it trying to burn basically, but you choke it off at the top. Just enough air space for the smoke to get out and uh but it'll prevent it from flaring up at all i'm gonna have to get out of here so i'm being a human guinea pig right now and finding out that yes there's a lot of nicotine <laughs> in the air here so um let me get out of here Whoa, i'm getting dizzy D -d -d damn okay what was i saying i used to smoke but i don't smoke anymore so i'm pretty sensitive but i kind of like being in there because uh it's like when you quit smoking I mean, it's been 20 five years or something. You, know, you get around someone that smokes and you kind of want to like get close to them and get some get some of that good secondhand smoke, you know. <coughs> so most people probably know that nicotine is a potent insecticide. It's used commercially as a pesticide. It's really easy to make your own pesticide at home by just, uh, you know, steeping up some tobacco leaves, add a little soap, you know, filter it really well so it doesn't clog your sprayer and just spray it on. Very, very effective as far as I know against all insects. Imagine like I'm dizzy from being in there for a minute. If it's like that in there for a half hour, 20 minutes, an hour, how could anything survive? Like how could any insect survive that? Just in case I'm making tea as well, uh, which I'll be spraying on later. So I bought this from this place called leafonly.com and this is Nicotiana rustica which is a different species than the tobacco that most people smoke. The native tobacco that was used from, you know, Mexico to North America and probably South America as well. It's easy to get seeds for, it's easy to grow your own, but I didn't have time to do that. So I just invested in two pounds of this. I think it's like only $19 a pound. And this is a ridiculous amount. I've fumigated the whole greenhouse with the stems and some leaf. And I have another huge, you know, quadruple handful steeping in a pot of hot water right now. I just keep it like kind of below a simmer uh, to al also spray. So I am gonna spray as well. I've read that Nicotiana rustica has as much as nine times the nicotine content. I don't know if that's true, but the truth is that even regular tobacco is enough. So yeah, imagine just being a bug in there, like any insect in there is just not gonna make it. They're probably already dead or experiencing a rapid pulse, lightheadedness, coma, and death. But I also think that uh, this has a potential for uh, irrigating. So I'm also going to take a tea of this, not a very strong one because I don't think it'll need to be very strong, and water all the roots with it as well. Not not like saturate water, but you know enough to that I think that anything that happens to be in the soil, like if there's, I don't know really the, the life cycle and habits of the mealy bug, but uh, in case they're in the soil or down at the base of the plants or something like that, uh, just to finish them off. So I'll be doing this, spraying and a little bit of watering just to make sure. And how could anything possibly survive that? Yeah, probably not. I mean, look at this. It's like Cheech and Chong's apartment in here. So I have uh, no reason to believe that I have a big infestation, but it doesn't really matter. You see a few, there's more. I'll have all these uh, baby cactus for sale soon on my website, teamwachuma.com. Check me out. They're gonna be cheap because my prime directive is to propagate wachuma and get more plants growing everywhere in the world, in the ground, everywhere possible. My aim is to provide inexpensive seedlings for large plantings or gifts or committing random acts of wachuma like planting uh, San Pedro in the uh, freeway divider in your town or something like that. Or just giving them away to random people. More wachuma is more better. That's my motto. These are the new seedlings. These are all selections for further observation. They're extra large, uh, extra small spines, uh, interesting characteristics in general. So I'm gonna stop breathing this as much as I kind of like it. It's like pouring out the cracks here. Awesome.
So yeah, again, I've used the tobacco tea before. It definitely works. It's pretty gnarly, very effective. And I know uh, people use alcohol. I've used it before, uh, but I've had some damage show up like sunburn after using alcohol. And uh, this is, you know, this stuff is not gonna affect the cactus negatively, but no, I will not probably start smoking again later.